Apollo 11, one of the greatest events in human history to find both man and digital ability. We know of the main crew members, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin Jr., the ones who first stepped foot on an untouched surface. But behind every mission, there's a separate crew ensuring the success, different people for different teams for different parts of the project. And among the Apollo project stood a systems engineer, Margaret Hamilton, who led a team of developing the onboard flight software for the mission. The team created algorithms to develop the guidance and navigation with the spacecraft during landing, a crucial moment in history. Prior to Apollo, Hamilton worked on a semi-automatic ground environment system, SAGE, for Lincoln Labs, in which her efforts proved her to be promoted as the lead Apollo flight software developer for the new mission. Being both brilliant and expert in many areas in career programming, Hamilton began writing the code for the onboard flight software, which would allow lunar landing to occur later on. Like much coding, Margaret would spend countless hours working, perfecting every piece of the code to ensure success, something we're all familiar with today. One task of the code for the software allowed for recognition of air conditions and quick acting recovery actions, an important task needed for missions risking the lives of humans. When coming across errors, the software eliminated lower importance tasks and prioritized the higher tasks, and in the case of the landing, moved the steering of the spacecraft onto the surface of the moon as a higher priority. During the mission, the computer became overloaded with the task. However, thanks to the program done by Hamilton, the computer began to eliminate many tasks by essentially just saying, hey, I'm being overwhelmed by all these things. I'm just gonna focus on landing first, okay? If the software wasn't able to recognize error and perform recovery, the Apollo 11 mission would not have been a success, nor a way to inspire mankind to advance forward. But wanna know what's interesting? During the time of the Apollo mission, software engineering wasn't a real term. Crazy, I know! And although the act of software engineering was real, the term of being its own engineering discipline wasn't accepted. And Margaret Hamilton saw this, and during the days of the mission, she created the term software engineering to have legitimacy and to be respected as its own individual form. And although her made-up term of software engineering was laughed at at first, the term soon became well-respected like other forms of engineering. Software engineering today has become incredibly important, becoming the jobs of over 21 million engineers in the world with a fast-growing rate of employment. And not just for jobs, but also impacts how our everyday lives go, as all technology are products of software engineering. And beyond helping software engineering gain wide respect, Hamilton and many other female engineers at the time challenged the idea of male dominance in the STEM fields, helping make female and male engineers working together a more natural concept that is apparent in today's society. Without her proud efforts, software engineering wouldn't get its current recognition and a spot in the STEM field, nor would women be able to achieve such great strides today.